The Roskilde Festival is one of the largest festivals in Europe. We have plus 80,000 people attending the festival. So it's a massive event and it does take a, a long time to prepare and we have more than 200 acts performing at the festival. We first experienced uh, Maya Sound at Roskilde Festival, I think it's more than 10 years ago. And the experiences we had with, uh, with the stages which had Maya Sound was that we were actually able to lift the audience experience. So it was only natural for, for Roskilde Festival to approach Maya Sound and ask them to, to join our team as a strategic partner for creating the absolute best audience experiences. For the first year with Maya Sound present at all stages as Roskilde Festival, what really surprised us uh, was the willingness to, to try out incorporating uh, new technologies such as the AVB and, and thereby pushing the boundaries, enhancing the audience experience. AVB stands for Audio Video Bridging. It's a time sensitive network, and Maya Sound uses that to transport audio between Galaxy units. Galaxy is the digital audio platform that includes processing for Maya Sound speakers. AVB was used at um, Pavilion, which is one of the smaller stages, at Arena, which is the second biggest stage, and at Orange. When the decision was made to use AVB at the Roskilde Festival, one of the first considerations that we really looked at was reliability. It's really important that there's no dropouts in the audio and that it's easy to plug in and set up and just work for the Aeroskilda technical team. We were able to work with them and get everything set up very quickly and this automatic discovery process of the AVB devices made it very easy for the network to just work and this brought a highly reliable sound system and a great customer experience to the festival. People are able to perceive very small timing deviations in audio. This perception really affects the way that we feel the audio quality and the way that it comes to us. It's important in a large sound system that all the elements are phase aligned and really working together as one giant system. With AVB, we're really able to put these timing mechanisms into place to really guarantee precise alignment across all of the hundreds of elements that make up a large sound system like at the Orange stage of the Roskilde Festival. For Orange stage, uh, the, the challenge is that it's a quite big site from the front of the stage to the back of the site, you have somewhere around 180 meters. So the delay positions are placed around 75 meters out to the site. So it's, it's a quite big site that you need to cover and you really have to, to work out your infrastructure for the system. And with the AVB managed to, to do the coverage and have an easy workflow for setting up the system. It was only natural for us to look for a larger vendor in our region. We approached the, the Bright Group, and the Bright Group are the ones uh, providing all the systems and the partnership we have with Maya Sound and Bright Group ensure us that we achieve what we wanted to achieve and what we dreamt of. The responses we've had from uh, the festival in 2018, which was the first year that the AVB was deployed, has been overall very positive. So I'm very excited about looking into 2019 and deploying more AVB systems at Roskilde Festival.